a steady braid balances the soul. There's a lot of people out there talking a lot of trash. There is. And I'm here to inform you, bro. Genji ain't good. He sucks. He, do he doesn't have the, the, the rate of fire needed to be good in this game. Using him, he's so weak. His health is low. Genji's ass at this game. Genji will bust that ass. I'm sorry, bro. I'm passionate about this because that nigga Genji... He's a problem. Okay, maybe he's, maybe he sucks in your hands, right? But you ain't playing. I've seen a lot of people with Genji online, and they ain't playing with him right. They ain't using him correctly. They're not utilizing his skills, his tools. Dog, I'll play Genji. I'll run up on your team. Just like you'll run up on your team. You know, you'll run up on other teams with your Genji. But my Genji, we ain't in the front. Do you know why I love playing Genji? Because we both have something in common. We love hitting it from the back, my boy. Yo, yo, your team's gonna be running in the field, they're gonna be do doing their thing, whatever. I'm here, I'm here. Next thing you know, I see niggas on down the stairs, I'm there. Now I'm behind the team, and you know what I'm doing? I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. You need no kills One-on-one, kids. You ain't supposed to be up in everybody's face with him. Genji is a nigga made for flanking. He's made for going around the corners, striking when they least expect it. The team ain't even gonna know it. You wait till the ult is ready, then you find a way in the back, which is always so easy, because all that boy gotta do to get somewhere that's really hard to reach is swift strike. Swift strike. He's out. Granted, there are some situations that Genji doesn't want to be caught in, and I've learned these things as playing, he doesn't like Symmetra at all. You know, I've seen a lot of times where I get cocky and I'm like, Symmetra, support hero, I'm about to cut this bitch down to size. And then I actually encounter her and I get hit by six drones, and the thing that really makes her hard to fight, of course you already know by now, her fucking gun, it auto-targets. And that's one thing that Genji is supposed to be a master at. It's avoiding your reticle whenever you're trying to aim at him, you can't figure it out. That boy's all over the map, you don't know how the fuck to hit him. But Symmetra ain't gotta worry about all that, and her drone zone either. So she is a big time problem. Another person who's a problem, of course, is Torjon, Torbon, whatever the fuck this dude's name is. His turrets are the main concern, not him himself. Another person who might be a concern for you is Winston. But for some reason, I haven't had a problem with Winston as much as I've had with Symmetra. And the thing that also makes her deadly is because, you know, my HP is low. Genji ain't got a whole bunch of stamina, so he gets hit once by those turrets, he's taking a lot of damage. So you gotta keep, you gotta keep that in mind. But if it's anyone else, you can go to town on him, my boy! Here's what I usually like to do. Whenever we're playing defense, instead of being right there on the battlefield, I always go to wherever their spawn point is, start picking them off, fucking with them. That's what he's meant to do. My boy Ben said it right. Genji's not me for offense as much as he's made to fucking penetrate and then cause havoc mayhem in the middle of the battlefield everybody my, my whole team's on the point but i'm in the fucking back i'm fucking with the niggas i'm cutting them down i'm messing with them right at the spawn and i'm dodging all over the map and they, no one has the mobility that you got no one can keep up with you when you're genji so a good genji well i guess this can be said for everybody but a good genji does not have a lot of deaths and usually he's able to get himself out of crazy situations. Save that swift strike. Don't use it too early, or else you're gonna get caught with your fucking dick in your hand. And I've never been caught, dog. I've never been caught. It's been years, I've never been caught beating my meat, and that's why I like Genji, because he ain't never been caught either. Me and that nigga are on the same level. We on the same plane. We have the same characteristics. And this is why that's my boy. No one knows where Genji is until it's too late. But if you're a good Genji, no one should know of your presence until they're fucking dead. That's the way I see it. Because at the end of the day here, if you got an ultimate like that, you're supposed to remain close or remain hidden. Don't let them know that you're there. Don't throw out stars as soon as you've seen an enemy. Don't let them know your presence just by seeing, because they're going to see the red star go past and they're going to go, oh, Genji's over there. Nah, I chill. I chill. And then they're waiting. They think everything's good. They're fighting the team in the front until here comes that boy. And I start slicing him down. Anybody who wants to see validation of this, wants to see proof of it, I'll be streaming Overwatch. So if you want to see your boy show you what a true Genji, a true master, who requires three stars to play by the way, 
one of the most difficult characters to use in the game. He don't suck, and I love the niggas that think that they can snipe your boy, because if you try to snipe my Genji, guess what I'm going to do? I am ready. You know how many Widowmakers I fucked in the ass? Which wouldn't necessarily be a bad scenario, I guess. But you know how many Widowmakers I fucked in the ass? I climb up baby legs, just BAM! Right in the head. They ain't ready for it, man. You have to see for yourself. They ain't ready for it, man. They ain't ready for Genji, bro.